This programme is brought to you by Mental Atom Products Deep Heat and Deep Freeze and Willie McLernan at Farmer Otter Care, official sponsors of East Kilbride FC TV. Welcome to the Islecroft Stadium as the Wollong League continues for both these sides. For Kelby it is the Tysel push of course up against Dalpiti Star on the road. Dalpiti always a difficult place to come. Well it was a good start to 2017 for East Kilbride after the disappointment at the end of 2016 but Robbie Crawford with a couple of goals for Kelby as the defeated Gretna at K Park and they were looking to win against Alpidi Star aside to the Metal in the campaign a 3-0 win Winter there as you'll see with a fantastic strike he got two that day as did Joao Victoria getting a goal and they're looking to try and match that result once more today So then let's check in with the two teams and for East Kilbride Jacob Keane is in goal, a back four which has Russell and Proctor as the two centre halves. Crawford back involved with the team alongside Gibbons there in the middle of the park. Winton Strachan doing their thing on the wing and Victoria McNeil are the two up top. And also in the squad on the bench, Russell McLean, uh, ex-Hearts player, joined up with the club, joined after some loan spells and he may well feature later on. For Dalbiti star, the home side here for Darren Kerr's team. Well, Vincent Parker is the goalkeeper. He might be busy if EK have enough of the ball. Ian Anderson, the former Grenna player, has scored against Kelby in the past, including in the 2015 Lone League Cup final. It's a strong side, strong bench as well, full complement on there. And they were looking to try and take a point or three off EK. And a bit of a presentation Kilby from Kelby to Dalbiti star, because this is the first Kilby game actually. Uh, the Islecroft Stadium with floodlights being in the pipeline for the last year, 18 months, and no more 2 pm kickoffs in the winter time for the daylight. So good to see the to invest in, in the ground, and we'll see some night action here. Here come the sides then. Just a couple of minutes away from kickoff, it's a very crisp day. Sunshine is out though. the coin to toss takes place. Nice to see EK brought that muscle with him. Some here cut tips going on between the two captains. Richard Maxwell pointing that out to Barry Russell. All the formalities and the humility and the laughs that we're underway now though. Good burst and run this for Dalbiti and uh, it's an early strike inch. Not sure if Keane got a little touch on. It's at Anderson, wasn't it? Threatening player. Back up for then Russell having to try and get in front of Anderson. It's a fabulous ball for Strachan. Stays in playing Strachan with. A lot of space here, but no one really in the box. Winter does collect. Crawford trying to work something. Keeper has to make the same as Parker. And in the end, Strachan's scrambling effort is covered up well by Parker. And it's his midriff. Proctor deals with that initially. Secondary header on. Wondering by Russell, is it going to be a free kick? It is. And Ian Anderson, not sure if he got much of the ball. He might have said he cleaned out the ball. Looks like he's hurt himself, was it? Have a chat to the ref, anyway. And it's comfortable with free kick for Jacob King's hands. 
Throw a loose slug. Calvi Corner is half dealt with. Neil around in there. Proctor, one or two hands in the air, but into the hands of Parker. Just steadily getting more and more pressure in the game now. Here's Strachan in the pickup once more for Kelby. Again, just looking for a teammate right in the six yard area. Didn't quite come from Sean Winter's delivery. Then a fall here for Anderson. It does for Sloan. The absolute pile drive that didn't quite get the power he wanted. <laughs> Russell won that. One or two cries from the crowd. Team Muir was full, but they do have it here. Do start. That's played in Anderson on. If he took that first time touch, better. That was a real chance. Russell plants forward. Is there going to be a ball one in there? Crawford trying his best. Uh, in the end, down the floor and he put that challenge. Well, one or two saying, get up. There's going to be a yellow card shown. It was a loud one. Lee Wells penalised despite Maxwell trying to come across in protest. Gibbons flies one to the wards the corner and Russell's header on. And Proctor looking for the corner. There's a corner. Oh, and Proctor's missed that. And McNeil's there. And McNeil scores. Gibbons trying to get the strike away. And the half hearty effort skipped through. McNeil, one, two, three bites at it. But he's put it in, came to him, scrambling around, keeper nowhere, defenders nowhere. Try to spider man at the floor. One or two of the defenders, but McNeil was there to put it in the corner. Russell to try and get it forward again. That is half time. McNeil's scruffy goal, but they all count. Just a couple of minutes or so from the break with the difference between the two sides. It's been a good game. Kilby have grown into it a bit more, but they have the lead. 80,000, I think. And they're underway for the second half. <laughs> Kilby with the kickoff. Seven minutes or so into the second period. Ja Victoria making way, and here is the debut for Russell McLean. He just signed from Hearts the last 48 hours or so. Eventually got the job done, deal done. Just slattering now with space and time. And he's always going to try and take a strike. Very comfortable for Keane. Home side in this game, looking for a goal back. All the chance really in long rangers. Batty's ball forward, don't he? Fell down here and now this could turn into trouble. McLean's waiting, but McNeil could go himself. And how clinical was that? 2-0. On the hour mark, Ross McNeil. Thank you very much. Dabiti trying to play and get forward from the back. And the ball from deep has seen them concede. Had a look over, McLean was waiting. It might have just been closed out because there's defenders coming. Maybe the defenders thought he was going to come across, I don't know. And the home side now in, in trouble to try and get anything. Neil getting manhandled there. He managed to get it and here's Strachan. Strachan goes for it himself. Barry Russell, 
It's all Kelby now, really. Has been in the last few minutes. Good running from Crawford. Still in play. In fact, no, the ref feeds him the free kick. Here's striking once more. Absolutely Dante's pass Wilson. And over by Wales, the defender. Smacking, looking for options from this corner. In fact, he spotted Gibbons. It's 3 0. It's three points. It's matching the result from earlier in the season. W start absolutely caught asleep. And under the new floodlights. So football as it's getting dark in Lylecroft Stadium. It's a light shining on that belter of a strike for the away side. Dalbiti nil, EK3. Sub Makari was doing quite well there. To keep hold of it and a good old tussle. Some help coming in from Wilson. Flying across the face of goal was the strike from Sloan. And that is game over. And in the end, East Kilbride always had double to start at arm's length. For a good hour or so in the game, it was a pretty good contest on both sides. But just when they got the second goal now and mark through McNeil, it looked like that was job done. McNeil got the opener just before half time. Gibbons put some gloss with a great strike to make it 3 0. 40 minutes from time that the league leaders march on at the top of the table after this win in Dumfries. Elsewhere, a bit of weather playing havoc to some fixtures. Whitehill Welfare, it's Preston, Gallifrey, it's Selkirk, and Hoyker Albert, it's Vale, were all off, as well as in Union, BSC Glasgow. Elsewhere, uh, from games that were on, we know what happens here. Gretna won, Cumbernauld won, it was Spartans 3, Civil Service Strollers 1, and University of Stirling 0, East Stirlingshire 2 in the Stirling Derby on Friday night. So with East Stirlingshire winning in that Derby game, it is 9 points the gap. EK looking pretty at the moment. Spartans still in with the chance. It is between the top 3 now. There's a big gap to Dalbiti in 4th who have had an excellent season and it was a difficult place to come today it's Preston and Selkirk down the bottom that's it from us this week thanks to David Craig and the camera in the Isle Croft Stadium and we'll see you next week for more highlights bye from us